For the past century, tanks have been a staple of what's considered conventional warfare, used to assault fortified enemy positions and serve as armour for friendly lines. In World War II, however, tanks as we know them were still fairly new, having only been invented near the end of the First World War a mere 20 years earlier. As a result, tank warfare was constantly evolving throughout World War II, and several members of tank crews at the time became famous for their skill in a form of warfare that was still fairly new. Among them was American Lafayette G. Poole, nicknamed War Daddy by his crew. Lafayette G. Poole was born in 1919 in Odom, Texas. He joined the military in June of 1941, mere months before the United States entered World War II following the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. In 1942, Poole began serving in the 3rd Armored Division, which had been recently formed. He served in the division until he was ultimately injured. Poole's most well-known bit of work came in France in the summer of 1944. There, he commanded a total of three Sherman tanks, all of which were crewed by the same men. Poole as the commander, Corporal Wilbert Richards as the driver, Private Bert Close as the assistant driver, Corporal Willis Euler as the gunner, and Del Boggs as the loader. Poole's first tank lasted for only a week, after which it was destroyed by a panzer during a siege in Normandy. His second had a much longer lifespan and lasted from July 1st to August 17th before being destroyed at Fremantle Village. His third tank lasted a little under a month and was completely destroyed by another tank at Munsterbusch. His last battle cost him his leg after he was thrown out of his command hatch and this very nearly cost him his life. During that summer, in a period of 81 days, Poole and his tank crew killed over a thousand German soldiers and captured over 200. During this time, he also destroyed 12 enemy tanks as well as 258 armoured vehicles and artillery pieces. This incredible record won him many different medals which included the Distinguished Service Cross, the Purple Heart, the Silver Star and the Legion of Merit. Lafayette G. Poole survived World War II and died on March 30th of 1991. In 2014, a movie titled Fury, which many of you probably know, was made about him and his experiences, in which he was played by Brad Pitt, although, as with all Hollywood movies, it was greatly exaggerated for cinema. Poole was one of few tank commanders to acquire such an extensive kill list in World War II, which is why we found him so interesting and hope you enjoyed the video as well. And if you did enjoy the video guys, please make sure you check out our Patreon and consider donating as any dollar helps with our demonetized YouTube channel. Anyways guys, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.